Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is County Digital TV. Na kama kawaida in case you're new here na huja subscribe to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So guys, a good divination of a deadly virus. A deadly virus. So this guy, alitoka kijani, akasema ni weekend, wacha enda ya kajibambe pale kwa club moja pale along Thika Road. Na, alipoenda pale, akapatana na mrembo, msupa, pale vokwa club. Na this lady, alikuwa na agenda. This lady pia alikuwa meka, meboeka kwa keja, akaona hana do akasema acha ninge pale kwa club nionekane naweza eh, smash one or two men nipate mtu wa kununulia some eh, to drinks and this lady mind you was a hiv positive and this lady narrated her story vile aliweza ku seduce that gentleman na wakaweza kwenda ku dose na yeye so i would want you to listen to this clip yenye nitaku playa next uweze kusikia how the story unfolded and so many men wanaanguka into that trap currently the trending story ni Eric Maigo ambapo inasemekana alinda kwa club akaji enjoy na wasichana kadhaa then akachipo mmo mmoja so guys make sure once you go to the club don't chipo madams come on beenda na mtu wako wachana na wao wenye unachipo huko kwa club you know you don't know them you don't know them so guys let's listen to this clip and let's keep safe I infected my boss with HIV. This is what happened like I was desperate kutafuta kazi. Njoo kutafuta kazi ni ngumu lazima connection a drop save lakini kuna party anything. So sato moja ikafika mimi nikasema acha niende club leo. Had I had to go to one of the clubs in the Carrod actually. I mean, ni kaenda si kwa nadon kwa tunaenda kubatisha like nezenda nipate mbabata ni buy drinks haya mimi ni ka ni kaenda i mean kwa tu nimechill nafika club tu nika chill juu sasa si kwa nadon kwa tuna chill dancing dancing kidogo tu this mbaba approach to me can you lisa kana as i'm join kwa table yake ya buy drinks i mean ni kamwambia ni sawa I had no money actually so no hiyo hiyo ndio ilikuwa target yangu nipate tu mseta ni buy drinks. Uh, so mimi ni, nikafikiria nikaona ai oh ni mse yako na do. Eh yako na mado ai zikosa connection ya job by zikosa kutoka kwa mabeshti. So I opened up kamwambia eh mimi nimekuwa niki struggle kutafuta kazi. Nimekuwa jobless sana naomba tu naweza ni connect aya kasema na shida kusema in fact ako na private clinic kwa example mali anaweza ni pay chance ya receptionist eh mimi si nikafurie nikaona eh we nyo mungu alikuwa ametuma kwa club tu eh so le, lakini akanipea one condition eh mimi nikamuuliza sai condition ya nini kani kusaidia mtu society once kaniambia hapana iki kuna kitu ya bure lazima ulipia kaniambia so lazima ulale na mimi kama unataka kazi ulale na mimi i will give you that job if you don't sleep with me then, then there's no job like scratch my back i scratch yours mimi nikasema ni sawa juu mimi deep down nilikuwa nilikuwa joto niko infected nimeshi nyoe ya ruviso atasikuwa na shida kajua sawa we jingize kwa mtego uh, so tukatafuta tukatafuta lodging we spend a night there so alikuwa amelewa hata kubasi ndi hapo ndo nilijua ah weta maya yako nimelipishia ni sawa eh hey, but okay the following day nikarudi tu kwa nyumba mahangobe so i had to sleep jioni ndo niliangalia kumuuliza ka kesho nafaa ni, niende roi sasa ngapi niingie kazi kuangalia nimeblockiwa kila mahali kujaribu ku call wapi nikajaribu kuona na new number me block new numbers wah nikasema kwani eh, kwani ilikuwa hisi uh, kulikuwa ni geuke tu i uh, mean nikasema ni sawa judip to nilikuwa jua tu hali yangu so hata sikupata stress lakini nikajua ni sawa this will teach you a lesson to never take advantage of anyone so ladies me even ndo namwambia hata hata ka jamaa hata hata kwa desperate job kitafuta job manze There's no assurance that that man after sleeping with you there is a job. But when you take that opportunity is kwa kula tu. And to the greedy bosses, never acheni ku take advantage kwa young ladies. You don't know what someone is going through. And there's a karma. So utaenda tu so no na kaa huyo like maybe alienda ka infect family yake. Na siku moja tu atanitafuta. 
maybe ana heal too so this is a lesson like no matter how desperate you are never ne, yani isi sikufikisha to that extent na majama mfunguze tama hiv is real watu watu ni wagonjwa and that's my story so guys mweza kusikiza hiyo story this is a story this is situation in in situations in happen ya watu wengi na not not necessary wanaume i'm not speaking basically sababu ya wanaume i'm also speaking in behalf of women sababu kuna women pia wako na pesa zao wanajipeleka pale kwa club na kuna bentens wako pale pia wanajaribu kutafuta namna so guys make sure once you go to the club don't cheap any lady any howly make sure you are safe make sure mtu mwenye una move na yani mtu umejuana several days wacha kusema ati unataka kuteka na advantage you know your time ya kusema kuna unataka advantage advantage takes care of you guys make sure you are safe maze watu wengi sana wamejipata in those traps those crazy traps the likes of Eric Maigo that the story that is trending currently na so many other people tumesikia watu wengi sana uh, things happening sometimes unajipata you sick you don't know where it came from So guys, let's take care and kama kawaida in case you new here and who just subscribe to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button na tutazidi kuwaletea more and more stories. Cheers. Let's meet in the next video. I infected my boss with HIV. This is what happened like I was desperate kutafuta kazi. Njoo kutafuta kazi ni ngumu lazima connection a drop CV lakini kuna pati anything so sato moja ikafika mimi nikasema acha niende club leo had I had to go to one of the clubs in the road actually i mean nikaenda sikuwa na don kwa tunaenda kubatisha like nezenda nipate mbabata ni buy a drinks haya mimi nikaenda i mean kwa tu nimechill nafika club tu nikachill juu sasa sikuwa na don kwa tu na chill dancing dancing kidogo tu This mbaba approached me. Can you lisa kana as I'm join kwa table yake ya buy drinks. Yeah, I mean kamwambia ni sawa. I had no money actually so no hiyo hiyo ndo ilikuwa target yangu nipate tu mseta ni buy drinks. Uh, so me ni nikafikiria nikaona ai oh ni mse yako na do. Eh hey, yako na mado ai zikosa connection ya job by zikosa kutoka kwa mabeshti. So I opened up kamwambia eh hey, mimi nimekuwa niki struggle kutafuta kazi. Nimekuwa jobless sana. Naomba tu unaweza ni connect. Aya akasema ana shida. Akasema in fact ako na private clinic Roisambo. Mali anaweza ni pay chance ya receptionist. Eh hey, mimi nikafurie nikaona eh hey, uwe. Nyo Mungu alikuwa ametuma kwa hii club tu. Uh, so like nakini akanipea one condition. I mean nikamuuliza sai condition ya nini? Kani kusaidia mtu suicide once. Kaniambia hapana. Iki kuna kitu ya bure lazima ulipe. Kaniambia so lazima ulale na mimi. Kama unataka kazi ulale na mimi, I will give you that job. If you don't sleep with me then, then there's no job like scratch my back, I scratch yours. Mimi nikasema ni sawa jumi deep down aya ni kwa kwa joto ni kwa infected nimeshi kwenye arviso atasikuwa na shida kajua sawa wewe jiingize kwa mtego uh, so tukatafuta tukatafuta lodging we spend a night there so alikuwa amelewa hata kubasi ndi hapo ndo nilijua ah wewe tama yako nimelipishia ni sawa Hey, but okay the following day nikarudi tu kwa nyumba maangove so i had to sleep jioni ndo niliangalia kumuliza ka kesho nafaa ni, niende risa saa ngapi niingie kazi kuangalia nimeblockiwa kila mahali kujaribu ku call wapi nikajaribu kuona na new number me block new numbers wah nikasema kwani eh, kwani ilikuwa isi kwa ilikuwa ni geuke tu I mean nikasema ni sawa Judith to nikwa jua tu hali yangu so hata sikupata stress lakini nikajua ni sawa this will teach you a lesson to never take advantage of anyone so ladies me even don't know mwambia ataka ataka jamaa ataka ataka uko desperate aje kutafuta job manze there's no assurance that that man after sleeping with you there is a job but when you take that opportunities kwa kula tu and to the greedy bosses never acheni ku take advantage kwa young ladies you don't know what someone is going through and there's a karma 
so utaenda tu so unaona kaa huyo like maybe alienda can infect family yake na siku moja tu atanatafuta maybe ana heal tu so this is a lesson like no matter how desperate you are never ne, yani isi sikufikisha to that extent na majamaa mfunguze tamaa hiv is real watu watu ni wagonjwa and that's my story